dear learners today we are going to discuss the mcqs from microbiome in part 1 we are going to cover few of the mcqs on sterilization and the first question is from the sterilization lysol is a dash whether it's a sterilant whether it's a disinfectant whether it's a antiseptic or antifungal agent so the correct answer is it is disinfectant lysol is a disinfectant which you use 99% of the germs according to the definition of disinfectant disinfectant is something which is applied on the non living surface or non living objects to kill the microbes so this kills 99% of the germ this claims lysol so this lysol is not an antiseptic it is an disinfectant and whether antiseptics are to be applied on the living organisms or living body tissues which will prevent the sepsis it will not kill the microbes but it will prevent the spread of the infection or sepsis next one is the method in which the cells are frozen dehydrated is called the cells the process where in the cells are frozen dehydrated the process is called whether it is pasteurization whether it is desiccation whether it is disinfection or lyophilization so the correct answer is it is lyophilization wherein the substance or the cells are frozen dehydrated means what we will see with the help of the figure now here in case of lyophilization what happens is this is a temperature this is the temperature dependent dehydration process means at low temperature generally what happens uh, the dehydration means what dehydration is uh, something which is removing the water with the aid of heat so in this process low heat or low temperature is required and dehydration process is carried out so here wherein first freezing is done and when the process uh, this pressure is lowered this uh, sublimation process uh, is done sublimation is nothing but converting the converting the solid substance with uh, to gas without converting it into the liquid so this it is also known as freeze drying or cryodesiccation the next question is thermal death time is whether it is the time required to kill all the cells at specific temperature whether it is temperature that kills all the cells in given time whether it is time and temperature needed to kill all the cells or all of the above the correct answer is it is time required to kill all the cells at specific temperature and from the graph you can see the it is time versus temperature so time how long it takes to kill the specific bacteria or specific uh, means uh, at a specific temperature so time and temperature dependent next question is temperature required for pasteurization is whether it is above 150 degree celsius whether it is below 100 degree celsius whether it is 110 degree celsius or none of these the correct answer is it is below 100 degree celsius temperature required for pasteurization because according to the process the name is this is uh, in case htst pasteurization htst is if you will uh, see the full form of this htst st is for short time and ht is for high temperature high temperature short time like the name is htst now as you can see here the temperature and the time uh, this 15 seconds and this is the temperature 78 degree celsius uh, this is the 15 second you see uh, you can see the so small the timing is so the temperature in the process you can see here 60 78 so it is uh, pasteurization process includes the temperature below 100 degree celsius next question is which of the following is ionizing radiation whether it is uv rays whether ir whether gamma rays or none of these the correct answer is according to the electromagnetic spectrum 
electromagnetic spectrum tells us that it's ranged as you can see this is low wavelength frequency this is short wavelength high frequency this is long wavelength low frequency so here you can see ultraviolet visible ir microwave radio and uh, besides ir towards the right hand side if you will go uh, uv ke baad hai x rays and gamma rays so as and when you will uh, move ahead from uv band x rays gamma rays have the ionizing capacity whereas below uv they don't have ionizing capacity has the ionizing capacity but it it is only higher uv range so the correct answer among the given option is it is gamma rays which of the following is ionizing radiation it is gamma rays then next question says which of the following induces dimerization of thiamine thiamine dimerization is induced by whether x rays uv rays gamma rays or none of these the correct answer uh, to see the correct answer we will see that how this thiamine dimerization occurs as you can see in the process upon exposure of uv radiations there is two thiamine residues as you can see this pictorial representation the bond will form these between two thiamine residues and thiamine thiamine dimer will be formed and this is a pairing see as you can see the bonds will break original uh, pairing and thiamine thiamine will bond which is not uh, practically thiamine thiamines will not bond so this thiamine thiamine dimer residue is getting formed this is thiamine dimerization which take place when uv radiations are exposed or incoming uh, uv radiations when they will come Uh, in contact so it will form the thiamine di the correct answer is it is uv rays next question is when food material are preserved at a temperature just above the freezing temperature the process is called the temperature above the freezing temperature the name of the process is whether it is freezing whether it is pasteurization whether it is chilling or frosting so to understand the answer first we will have to go through different techniques of food preservation food preservation methods as you can see here in the diagram that is freezing salting green peas we generally frozen them salting is done then pickling is done addition of sugar or uh, drying so this sugar salts along with uh, preservatives is one of the method controlling water that is dehydrating the substance to preserve it for longer time then cold processing where uh, chilling and thermal that is pasteurization so this chilling process is the correct answer the temperature which is above the freezing temperature this is freezing and this is chilling so freezing is means above the temperature freezing temperature is nothing but the process is chilling so when the food materials are preserved at temperature just above the freezing temperature the process is chilling next question from part 1 is which of the following method of sterilization has no effect on the spores whether that method is drying hot air oven autoclave or none of these which of these method is not having any effect on the spore so definitely that we have seen in the video spores the descriptive answer for the spores the process which is not having any effect on the spores is drying because according to the characteristics of the spores spores are very dormant forms they can resist drying and they can thrive in hard conditions also so it is uh, simple process drying which will not have any effect on the spores next question is the question says autoclaving is carried out at uh, dry heat atmospheric pressure 121 degree celsius or all of these so the correct answer is it is 121 degree celsius you very well know autoclaving is carried out at 121 degree celsius and to see elaborate you can see 
it is 121 degree celsius and 15 psi pressure so this is the basic sterilization temperature and when the temperatures are varied the pressure will also varied next question is the temperature in pasteurization is 62.8 35.7 100 degree celsius or 121 definitely 121 is not the answer and 100 is also not the answer because the temperature is below 100 and this range if you will see 35.7 very normal temperature so the answer is it is 62.8 clear as you can see here this 63 if the pasteurization, tempera uh, pasteurization temperature is 63 it is kept in holding tube if it is 72 then direct cooling process is done so this is 63 approx so the correct answer is it is 62.8 next question is the question says temperature used for hot air oven is 100 degrees celsius for 120 degrees celsius degrees celsius for one hour or 60 degrees celsius for one hour the correct answer is it is 160 for one hour and other temperatures also you can see as the temperature increases the time duration decreases so 160 ke liye 60 minutes that means one hour 170 degrees celsius may 40 minutes and 180 degrees celsius for 20 minutes and the oven is applicable is in sterilization of dry drugs powder drugs oils fats waxes oily injections and ophthalmic ointment this we finish with few of the mcqs from the part sterilization thank you and stay tuned for our upcoming parts from micro different topics from the microbiology